ok hello hello back again here i am edgar ross from cremona italy italian violin making in its best shape and form i just wanted to make a short video about how this uh, superb uh, decorated instrument is proceeding you can see already more and more parts here we have here the ribs which i have already almost finished there's just one single piece missing it should arrive within uh, tomorrow uh, the tiny small piece which during the process of making has been broken uh, because this middle um, material is very osmium uh, is very brittle and so from these 548 or 46 parts one has broken one we lost by the way um, I know we shouldn't talk about but it's, it just gives you a little bit the idea of tiny small problems of this entire process of making because all these these hundreds of envelopes with every code and every part inside gold framed inside and you would say you would immediately see it as soon as it is turning around on the working bench or falling in one of these holes which I have closed now with this tape um, you wouldn't imagine how difficult it is to find it again uh, that's what happened to my friend who made the gold frame around all these hundreds of pieces and he lost one it's you know we're human we don't juggle with it around but it just happened every single part of the instrument itself took much more time than expected this is another tiny detail as it is always for instance i thought with the pegs that it would take like three days and it took us two weeks i think almost three and they're still yet not finished here now i have them in one bag and i give you a close-up very soon and there's still one tiny part missing but they're almost ready and I think they are the most precious packs I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, if somebody would here offer 20,000, probably I wouldn't give them for 20,000 away. Okay, just so you have an idea about these four packs. I know I shouldn't make any numbers, but I just to under make you understand how much time and effort it takes to do certain things and probably 20,000 yeah no, I, I don't give them away not even for 30 by the way the neck here we are actually on a very good point we started to put in here the stones uh, Christian will make a close-up so you see it also in the process of making the upper net I decided that we take it away and we make a new one once we glued the body and close the body then we will make the neck setting of it and we will uh, varnish this separately so this is another part which I just wanted to show you right now I'm working on the back and Min is helping me as well by the way to clean up here all these uh, areas where we then later on glue in the Osmian parts which are in gold frames and while we, we clean up here, I'm here drilling all the holes, the round ones for the precious stones. And that's what I'm going to do very soon. Yeah, I, I believe that within, now I always say within two weeks, it will be then three weeks and whatever. And now we have almost, for, as a violin maker, I can say we have completed. Yeah, and then certainly there is still missing everything put it together sound post um, bridge and all these uh, things but the setup and the sound adjustment comes in the last 10 days i would say two weeks i hope i even made already the label which here is not yet glued on it's uh, very nice to to touch actually it's treated with the protein layer the wood i had glued on a wooden part so I could hold it easier and we varnish them separate this first time for me that I make an instrument like this and it's also the first time that I had like the ribs months ahead I had varnished it already and a particular part of the scroll is that I 
had the lower part here underneath uh, I had already finished completely varnished and everything and then I glued it back together and then I carved the scroll the final shape of the scroll that's a procedure which I have never made in this way but otherwise it would have been impossible to have the stones here all the way down yeah you couldn't drill a hole through the entire uh, scroll so this is uh, another interesting part I think. Varnish I'm pretty happy how it looks like. I would say it's typical Edgar style that's something which is that it's not perfectly shiny like the hood of the car and uh, you can tell that this is coming from the workshop of Edgar I think this is what I, I really pay a lot of attention. All the models the shape of the scroll and of course also the model of the instrument itself is designed for that specifically for that instrument it's the Edgar Ross Osmium model E-R-O-S Eros yeah when I wrote down on my, my mold E-R-O-S and I looked at it I was really surprised so yeah so we make a small line in between so you don't get confused here yeah and that's a little bit what what is uh, state of art in this very moment yeah continue working okay wow Ma questo qua funziona abbastanza bene con le pietre e il buco del 3.1. Oui. Voilà. Tacate. Mm -hmm. And I don't make it <coughs> very regular, I just want to put it very in a very individual way in order that it's not annoying when you look at it. So then it becomes even a little bit more interesting and uh, <coughs> you have a little bit more to look at, otherwise it's boring here. Only test this one here. And then I will glue in the triangles first. They go a little bit deeper inside because the osmium is actually very thin, so you cannot leave it too much out. And on the other side, I want to have the stones a little bit out 
little bit more than this one here. 